हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज सुमित मेहता टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू अबाउट व्हाट इज मीडियन इन माय प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट व्हाट इज अरिथमेटिक मीन एंड व्हाट इज मोड ऑफ नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशंस ओके सो प्लीज बी अटेंटिव हियर द मीडियन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो कैनली लुक हियर इफ आई हैव गिवन अ नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन लाइक आई एम गिविंग यू वन एग्जांपल if i am giving you a number of observations like 1101231251712111111511101111 okay so these are the number of observations which are given to me first what i will do is i will arrange the number in ascending order i hope you guys remember what is ascending order which i told you in my lecture on real numbers okay so if you don't remember that what is ascending order so kindly watch the video on lecture on real numbers okay there i taught you about what is ascending number and what is descending numbers okay so what are ascending numbers are and because are those on which when we are going from left to right the number keeps on increasing means i have to arrange all these numbers in ascending order means from left to right the number should increase so 106 is the smallest among these numbers then 110 then again 110 then i will write 112 these are done 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 now what left is 115 117 120 one, 123 120 two times okay and 123 i hope all are covered 3456 three 115 117 One two zero two times, and there are total number of ten, and there are nine. Which one is left, students? One one zero here. One one two. One one five. One two five. There is one more number. One two five. Okay. So basically, I have arranged all these numbers first in. ascending order okay now which one is the middle number these are 10 numbers so there will be two middle numbers so i am giving you a formula if n is even means number of observations n is number of observations is even so median will be either n by 2th or n by 2 plus 1th term will be median okay so here n is 10 which is even number so 115 and 117 both will be the median okay and if n is odd n plus 1 by 2 two term will be median okay i hope now this is these two are the keys to remember how to find out the median first what you will do you will arrange the numbers in ascending order then you will find if n is even then these two terms are median if n is odd then this term will be the median of number of observations let me give you one example based on this so student here is a question which states that the runs scored in a cricket match by 11 players is these are the runs scored by 11 players find the mean mod and the median of this data in this example uh, they you will revise all the concept which i told you in my two previous lectures also 
means mean what is mean mean is the average of all the numbers means first you will do add all the numbers which are given to us so i am adding all the numbers upon number of observations are 11 because it is given already given to us so by this way adding these numbers i will find out the value of mean and to find the mode what i will do i will make a table and see which number appears how many times so i will write 6 10 15 there is one more number 8 6 10 8 15 50 80 100 120 so these are the observations and number of observations 6 appears only one time 10 appears one two times 15 appears one two three times 8 appears only one time 50 appears one time 81 101 this so this should be 11 so this is the observation which is appearing most of the times so mode is 15 and what is median and to find out the median what you will do you will arrange all these numbers in ascending order first so 6 then 8 then 10 10 15 3 times then 50, then 80, then 100, then 120. Okay, so this is the way which I arrange in which I arrange the number in ascending order. Then I have to find the value of n. n is 11, which is odd, which is odd. So in case of odd, n by n plus 1 by 2 -th term will be our median. n by 2 plus 1 means 11 plus 1 by 2 is sixth term. So sixth term will be 15. So our median is also 15, and the mean will be the average of all these numbers. So you have to find out the average mean of the observations. First, you have to calculate the sum, then you will divide it by 11. So I hope you guys are pretty clear about how to find the mean, median, and mode of any number of observations. And if if you're still facing any doubt, or any issue regarding this please do comment in the comment section students thank you happy learning